Welcome in this next video, Intercepting Network Traffic on iOS. If you're following this from YouTube, make sure to also subscribe on Mobile Hacking Lab to this free training, so you can also follow along with the workbooks with more detailed instructions. To intercept network traffic on iOS, we're going to use Burp Suite, which is the go-to tools for pen testers to intercept network traffic, specifically for HTTP traffic from any device, so from web, mobile, etc. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to set up Burp Suite, so how to install it, how to configure it, how to configure it on your host and on the iPhone, then the, some options to intercept the traffic, and also other use cases and functionalities from Burp Suite, like tamper with network traffic, repeat it, etc. The first step is to install Burp Suite, and there is a community edition which has enough functionality that you can use for free. So in a minute I will show you the website where you can download it. And then the first thing to do is to set up the proxy listener. By default is listening loopback only on the local host. And you can also specify it to listen on all interfaces. Especially when you are connecting with a mobile phone from your Wi-Fi network or from a VPN. You need this option. First you can go to portswigger.net. Portswigger is a company who created Burp Suite. And they also provide you some nice trainings, for example, on APIs and web for all kinds of topics. But we are interested in the Burp Suite Community Edition. So you can go straight to Downloads. And then for your platform, you can specify which version you need. So you can use the executable YAV file if you don't want to install it at all. Or you can download different versions for Linux, depending on your architecture for Mac or for Windows. And let's also have a quick look at the Burp Suite Community Edition in comparison with the Professional Edition. So for this training, the Community Edition is sufficient because we're going to use it as a proxy with a proxy history. So that's already to capture all the requests. And the repeater is a useful tool. So with the repeater, you can repeat one request, modify it, and then send it again. Decoder to just decode some data and also the Burp Intruder, which is limited in the Community Edition. For the B5 setup, I'm going to use the same approach as on the previous labs. So on Mobile Hacking Lab, I pick one of the iOS challenges. So I have an iOS device available in the browser and I can connect over VPN. So that is the first step. Make sure you download the VPN file and connect from your host or from a virtual machine. As explained in the lab setup, you need a VPN connection. And important from this VPN connection is your own IP address, 10.11.3.2, within this network. So within this network, you can also reach the iPhone. Now I'm going to start Burp Suite Community Edition. When you start Burp, you can leave the default option. So you click on Next, Start Burp. Then Burp will start with this dashboard. And most important thing to start with is the Proxy tab. And then we have the Proxy Settings. And in the proxy settings, by default, you will see this listener, a local host port 8080. And this means that Burp Suite is reachable only from this machine. So to demonstrate it, I can open Firefox. And within Firefox, I go to the proxy settings. And then I'll configure this manual proxy, local host port 8080, also for HTTPS. Okay, now I go to a random URL like example.com. And if I open Burp Suite, I can close the settings and go to HTTP history. And within this HTTP history, you will see the history of all the requests captured by this web browser. And by default, you will see the oldest on top and the latest request at the bottom. First thing I usually do is change this. So now we have the latest request on top. So this is the request to example.com, an HTTP request. And then we have an HTTP response with code 200 OK. And we can also click on render if it's a web application, then sometimes it will also display the content. And one of the functionalities to go quickly over it is the repeater. So on one of those requests, you can click on send to repeater. Then this repeater tab will be highlighted. And now you can repeat the request by just clicking send. Then you will get a similar response probably. And what you can also do, you can tamper with a request. Like this endpoint get forward slash, I can change to get test. So example.com slash test. Now you can see the response code change to 404. 
in the workbooks we will have more resources and examples how to use Burp Suite with the other functionalities, so please take a look. But now I would like to focus on the connection to the mobile device. So to set up a connection, I need to change my proxy settings. So I need to add one proxy listener or edit the current proxy listener to also listen on a different IP address. So in this case, 10.11.3.2 is the IP address within the VPN network. So if I expose this IP address, port 8080 again, then I should be able to also configure this on the phone. So now I go back to the device and go to settings, Wi-Fi. Then there is one Wi-Fi network connected. Then we click on configure proxy. And it can be set to manual. Then we need to fill in the proxy server. My IP address was 10.11.3.2 of the host. Port 8080. Safe. This should be already enough to configure this proxy. So now we will test if this proxy works. So let's open a browser. Let's go to website like apple.com or mobilehackinglab.com. And in my case, there are no issues. It loads right away in Safari. You might also run into some issues, specific certificate issues. Because on Mobile Hacking Lab, we use Corellium devices, which are already prepared with a valid certificate, so everything will be trusted. And in the workbook, we will refer to this article. So configuring an iOS device to work with Burp Suite Professional, also the Community Edition. So we can configure this proxy listener, what we just did. Then we set a Wi-Fi network, we already did. And then this step three was not needed on the mobile hacking lab device. So on iOS, you can install different profiles. And profiles are related to certificates which are trusted by the device. So we can follow this step. So we can go to Burp Suite, this URL on the device. And then it will download a certificate and then you can install it on a device via settings general about certificate trust settings. So let's check how this is configured on our device. So we go to settings general about. Then we scroll down to certificate trust settings. And then in this case, there is already one certificate installed related to enterprise.corellium.com. This is probably the reason why we could already see all the network traffic. So usually the step you need to follow is go to HTTP Burp Suite. And then it's a little bit small, but on the top right, you'll see something about CA certificate. And then allow to download a profile. Then the profile is downloaded. Then we go back to settings and we can search for VPN and device management. And then we will see downloaded profile, port figure CA. You can click the details if you want. But what you need to do is click on install. Then again, install. And then this port figure certificate is verified. Then if we check about. Certificate trust settings. We can also trust this second certificate. And I hope we can still intercept network traffic. Apple.com also loads. And we get all the requests and the responses as well from Apple.com. So apparently also a lot of responses from type JSON, for example, instead of HTML. So also a lot of APIs you can check. This was a short how to set up the connection.